Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to an episode of Coral Island. Today I believe it's supposed to be raining. Tomorrow it's going to be sunny. Yes, it is raining. So last episode we upgraded our bag. Um, oh, you crow. You are mean. Uh, hello, Lexi. Looking for a way to pass the time? Or maybe you want to learn... Nope, I don't want to learn coin. I want to earn some extra coin while waiting for your crops to go. When you have a moment, come visit us at the bee shack. Shack, we have some welcoming gifts for you. So that will get us our fishing net. And it probably now wants us to build the scarecrow, which I don't think we can do yet. Um, No, we can't. It's like right there. Okay. We need to up this a little bit. Um, so we have some time and then we will go to wait for the beach shack to open. I think what we're going to do in the meantime is kind of do some collecting around here. Oh, I want to catch you. Is this like garden lane? Because I believe that this is what this area is called is the garden lane. Hey, do you know one of the many, many reasons I love rain? Because at school, we get to stay inside and play. Okay, I love her dress. It is so cute. Like, she's just adorable. She really is. Still need to meet a few NPCs. We are not done. So we might go up there and see who is available and around for us to meet. We need to meet her mom yet, I believe. Um, it's Frank. We need to meet, I know Scott. I think Lily is a person we need to meet. Aaron's Peony. So the difference between, there's like the normal requests and urgent requests. So like the one of them is like, I think it's, can you grow me essentially? It gives you enough time to grow the item when it's an urgent request. That means they want it now or close to now, two days. So we would never be able to do that. So let's keep that in mind when you go to that board that uh, no, you can't always make, do it. Like, because if you don't have it growing already. So Scott is there. Uh, we'll meet them today. We met them. There's someone down here. So we'll go run down here. So the Leah quest we could have taken yet last episode. There's not like a new mid Aaron type quest every day. Um, where are they now? They're coming up the other way. I think I can maybe cut them off here. I don't know. You can hear a chainsaw. Oh, you're up there already? No. You can hear a chainsaw, I apologize. One of my neighbors has decided that they want to hire a bunch of, like a company to cut down like every single tree. It seems, oh, this is the judge. Judge Ross, where do you think one should go for good Raven? Um, home, the shack, my farm. Uh, home. Ah, yes. Home indeed. I don't find nothing wrong with that answer. Ooh, I oh, already had a brown trout. Okay. Anyone else around? There's two people up here. I did Google. Oh, there must be lots of frogs on your farm, huh? Super cool. I did Google. Oh, there's Lily. Um, yes. She's like a hacker, essentially. Like, I think she's like an IT person, but uh, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? I'd be like something with IT computers, that type of thing. Oh, uh, there's two people down here. Hey, Leah. You said you're a farmer, right? Hmm, that explains the outfit. How cute. Well, you're dressed to go to like something at. 9 a.m. Here, Scott. You're from Pokio, huh? I came from the metropolitan area myself. The Big Apple. You've heard of it, I'm sure. 
Anyhow, my name is Scott. Welcome to town. Don't be a stranger. I love Scott is one of my I like uh, for like the male NPCs uh, who are dateable. He's probably one. Of, he's up there. The ones who are currently in the game. Maybe we can sit somewhere and dry and chat. Their outfits do change with the season, so whatever outfit you're seeing them in, it will change throughout the game. Okay, we're gonna go to the shack. I think it's, <laughs> we've wasted enough time. I wanna catch my bugs and fish. I normally always do much better with the bugs than I do the fishing. I, that I will say. Not really a reason why. But um, the fish I do better when I start to upgrade the, the um, rod. That's when I start to do better. There are certain fish that I won't even attempt to get until I have at least a gold rod. What, Sonny? You can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing. We'll get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Okay, then we start with fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? Uh, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... Welcome, a new face at last. Lexi, isn't it? <clears throat> Jim, Lexi is here. Anyways, nice to meet you. Oh, Jim for here. I'm like, oh, he's not here. Uh hum. Nice to finally meet you, Lexi. Come, have a seat. We were just discussing your welcome gift. Thank you. It's fine, you prefer to stand. Or if you prefer to stand. Gotta keep those lake muscles strong, huh? Hee <laughs> hee. Speaking of lake muscles, I have a perfect workout for you. Catching bugs. Sit, sit, Lexi. So, how's farm life so far? Oh, nothing I can't handle. It's a bit tiring sometimes. I can't say for sure. Uh, nothing I can't handle. That's the spirit. Resilience, youngsters, remind me a lot of myself. Settling, settle a debate for us, Lexi. Which is better activity? Fishing for fun or fishing or fun and ever exciting bug catching? My wife, the competitive ladybug. Ah. <sighs> Fishing is more relaxing. Uh, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but I prefer tilling. I like bug catching. It does sound exciting. It's not exciting. It's just, it's. I think it's funner. Thank the goddess. Um, looks like I've, I'll finally have a fellow bug enthusiast. Well, in any case, here's your welcome gift for you, or our welcome gift for you, a fishing rod and a bug net. Thank you. Uh, you can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Good luck. You sometimes see her in that garden area. That's kind of her route. And this is what they offer. Um, this is where you upgrade your rod and stuff. Some small bait. This upgrades with you um, in the game. Um... Oh, it's, I think I started talking about the bag upgrades. I did Google that. So the bag of course we got last time is uh, the $500 one, so 20 slots. It also gives you the ability to do that. If you hit R or Q, you can rotate your hot bar. Um, the next one, which is 30 slots, so this row is $3,500, and then this final row is a steep. 12,000. I actually, in any of my saves, I have never actually got the 12,000 one. The, the $3,500 one almost always was good enough for me. Um, so yeah. It's one of those things. I think because, I mean, as a Minecraft player, inventory is a thing. Um, which is why you play modded. 
But um, this that's actually manageable for me just because I am used to Minecraft and that's almost a Minecraft inventory. So let's go see if we can catch some bugs. So what you kind of want to do, certain bugs have a bigger scare radius than others. That circle when it fills is their scare. We got a praying mantis. And a little wood Saturn butterfly. <clears throat> Molly's we're going to kind of keep in a chest um, to... <clears throat> Uh, to eventually donate to the museum. That's what we're going to do. Which I think is not this chest. Um, It was the next chest. So we already have one of those. So that's not going to go there. This is going to go here. This is going to go there. And we'll put this in there. Uh, we'll sell that and that. Alrighty, I do need to buy more plants. But I believe, yeah, this is closed today. So we won't be doing that. There's Raj. Trying to see the other townies we need to meet. We could go here, I guess. There's someone there. Um, We need to beat that entire household. We'll go to the ranch, I think, first. Like, we're kind of just going to go around and get bugs today. The bugs do uh, use energy, so just keep that in mind. You can, it uses your stamina. We have not met you. That's a great thing. I want to talk to you. Thank you, Jack. Just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. Your, wait, your lot has plenty of space to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. Yeah, we need to do that. And this is what they sell, which is just like the animals. So right now, because due to our ranking, we can only get uh, the chickens and cows. There's like what, quails and ducks, uh, goats, pigs. That's the one, like it's all, all of it is tied to your rank. I'm, we're waiting for that cutscene of the rankings. So it's like that judge person we met. She decides like the rankings of the town and she hasn't given us a favorable one. Yeah, we, there's no one here. And so the I think they are in the, the mine, which we still can't access. Um, and so we, the town has a ranking of an F. And so as you progress through the game and as you do things, the ranking goes up and eventually more things unlock. Um, uh, for the bugs, the rarer they are, the shorter the, the circle is. Once they've kind of like, once they've noticed your presence, I guess it would be. I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's it's hard to get, you have to go a decent ways away for it to like not notice you anymore. Um, But like the rain, the bugs and the fish, a lot of them, they all like, their spawning depends upon the season and then rain, snow, storm, blah, 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 like that type of stuff. Very, very similar to Stardew Valley. Oh, there was a praying mantis. Yeah, we already have you, sir. But like the very similar to Stardew Valley, like the the fish will only sp fish and the bugs will only spawn in certain areas. So, um, look at the map. So, like this, there's like the the mines you can catch fish, 
And then you have, I think this is like the Forest River. And then there's the rice fields. And this is, I think, the this is like the ocean by the farm. And then you have like the outlook and then the beach here. And then you have the town area. This is one location. This is like a, right here's an estuary. Here's a pond on your property. I think this is the, the river, the town. No, the town river is up here. Here's the lake. And I think this is the farm river, they call it. It's There's a good picture on the wiki that explains a lot of the farming stuff. This is a game that you do kind of need the wiki in order to be truly successful in playing. I mean, you can do the, like, I want to surprise myself route. You will. You will suffer a little bit. <laughs> I think that's my, my one complaint with... I would say this game and Stardew Valley is you have to consult a wiki in order to really do it well in it and exceed and beat the game really. I mean, here's like here's the other ocean spot. I think what it says like farm ocean or something like that. Like I said, the wiki has a really good uh picture of the different locations. Um but that's like my one complaint about this game is that you do need to go to the wiki quite often in order to actually be able to progress. And I don't know how I feel about that. Um, we don't need a mango steen. I don't think I'll keep it so I have one. We're gonna sell that. Uh, we need to keep a snail and that to donate. Okay, going back to bug collecting. Um, but yeah, that's like that's my one complaint about this game and Stardew Valley is that you need to know the wiki. There's like another one that's like the Coral Island Guide. That actually sometimes is more helpful than the wiki. Because like being that this game has gone, um, I'm stuck on a tree. Nope, that's a, a rare one. I think that's can never remember what that one is called but being it's like coming out of um early access and is now in full release certain things change so some things on it just like sand rock certain things on it aren't exactly up to date uh some things are certain web pages that help you i think the coral island guide i think it's called that i think tends to update sooner than the wiki um, this is the estuary to our left. There's like a rare, a legendary type fish, I think, here that you can get. Um, so we will have to get all the fish. We will be doing the completionist thing for this game where I gotta get all the fish. I have gotten, I've never completed the fish altogether because of the rod. I have completed all the insects before. That is something I have done on two of my saves actually i've completed all the insects and i've completed all the sea creatures the 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 um watch your step it's super slippery thank you erica um the fish i always have difficult just like in stardew valley the fishing i have difficulty with sometimes hey I wish mom had gotten me a boy detective umbrella for my birthday. Oh, I'm sorry. I already have one. So, yeah, we're saying we're not still too close. So his awareness meter kind of is up. It's now going down. Sometimes it's easier to get the bugs when they're coming directly at you. So I will sometimes reposition myself so that they're coming right at me. Um, we're going to go to the north. There's a mall. Or is it the Assam Moth? Moth.
There we go. Oh, we got that guy already. Okay. A polytheus mob. How many spots do I have? Oh, we still got some space. Um. Ooh, this open sign's going. We can go in here. I would love to start clearing out my chest. Scott. Everything's gone. So sad. Nope, they haven't magically returned. Oh, we startled him. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, what, you're Lexi, right? I'm sorry, you caught me at a bad time, but... Just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Display nothing is a, so high concept, it's great. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Lexi. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not empty like this. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me that the town was going, th going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at they made, that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fund to clean up the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going, I'm going to do next. That's when I realized I had two options. I, am I going to continue the pity party or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that, I ha that the town isn't in an immediate crisis? That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. By the way, Lexi, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Sounds like a lot of work. I can bring anything? Maybe. Will I get paid? Actually, none of these, um, none of these are, uh, we'll do that one. No, not at anything, anything. We have a list of items we want to display. Things of like historical artifacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, and so on. Just drop by whenever and we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed in the museum. So what do you say? Wanna help me fill the museum with the treasures of the island? Yes, I will, sir. That's what I like to hear. Alright. Donate an item to the museum. Okay. Interact. Donate item. We will donate a praying mantis. I need to get my list out in a minute. A pine sphinx. And the polytheist moth. Do I need to donate that? No. There's two different things that you need to collect for. Um, it is empty, no more. You need to collect for the museum, but then there are certain items that are needed for, very similar to the bundles in Stardew. The, this game they call them altar um like I never can say the word like sassagens that's what they're called um it kind of so when you go into your inventory so it shows me I donated it already um but certain ones so this we can sell. Oh, uh, this we will donate. This we will donate. This we will donate. That we will donate. Some of them, like, uh, we don't have anything. Though this should be one of them. Yeah, probably because it's not unlocked yet. Yeah. 
instead of how this just says donated or not, some of them like this will have an extra thing saying offered, I believe it says. Um, so that is a thing. So you always kind of want to, we haven't unlocked the altar part. So we will eventually get that. And the museum is open 24 hours a day. So I think we're going to spend the rest of the evening um, clearing out some of our yard. We have that. Thank you. Oh, okay. I think yeah, we're going to clean out our yard a little bit. That's because I hate leaving this much stamina on the table. Though we can... Whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. And we could go look up here a little bit. But, and there's buggies. I, we haven't gone to this part. Of the, I think we're going to go to that part of the map. Ah, oh, I keep hitting I can't... keep forgetting I can't hit shift. <laughs> That's like the hardest habit to break. Especially like when I was just playing Minecraft. It's like, nope, shifting is not a thing. Though the space bar does help because that is a Minecraft thing also. I think this is, is this the Pine Sphinx again? Ooh, a hickory horned devil. It's yeah, so like the the shifting thing is a Minecraft, but it's just the I'm missing the shift but I mean the space thing is from Minecraft, but I'm missing the shifting part of that key. Combo. We can clear that. You just walked right into my trap, sir. Gotcha. The bugs and that type of stuff is a decent way of making some coin. It really is. Okay, we're gonna start heading back. Tomorrow we might do a little bit of fishing. Yoink. I think this is like probably my, one of my favorite parts of the map. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but this part is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why. Ooh, a lot of stuff is up here. Um, yeah, we're going to take down some trees, I think, around our property. I think the earliest the mine can unlock is tomorrow. It's one of those things like um, Stardew Valley where there's set things that happen on certain days. Like there's a set day you will get the discussion from Connor about the mayor about um, that has been donated. Correct. I still I'm going to mark these down off camera. Um, yeah, that was donated. And that we need to donate, but we'll sell one. Oh, uh, we will also sell this. But like certain days in Stardew Valley do certain things. And, um, it's the same thing here. Um, but yeah, it's like one of those things. It's I find it harder to balance what to do in this game versus Stardew Valley because it is very easy once like the mines open to just do the mines, 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 and same as um, when the 
the ocean, the diving opened, it's very easy to just go like, oh, diving, diving, diving. And it's like, well, I have a hard time balancing it all. <laughs> That's a me problem. It really is a me problem. Go to bed. Day one. And we leveled up in foraging. We leveled up in catching. And we made $377. Look at this. Uh, forecast. Tomorrow is going to be sunny and clear. No letter. Those look weird for whatever reason. The one thing I will say is when you have uh, other tools equipped, be very careful around your crops. As like it did in Stardew Valley, you can destroy your crops. I have done that many times. Uh, you can fully destroy plants. Oops, I missed. We need to get more plants today. Um, so that's a thing we will do. Keep the hay for when you get your animals. Uh, these are just annoying me. They need to go. Yeah, I liked how in Stardew you could get those. There we go. I think Stardew it was just use that on it. Or your, was it your pickaxe? I don't know, it has been a really long time since I played Stardew Valley. I think they're like the, the main developer guy, what's his name, Concerned Ape. I've been showing a lot of stuff of the new update they're working on. I have been, when the next big update comes out, I have been tempted to play some more Stardew Valley. No, it's like it's one of those games that like I have to be in the right mood to play Stardew. Um, and if I'm not, then it's just like nope. And it's like that's like one of the few games. Well, my own Minecraft sometimes like that. That's like if I'm just not in the mood, the right mood to play it, I just I can't. I would say it's more for vanilla Minecraft that I would be like, I don't know, I don't know. Versus modded. I can almost always play modded Minecraft. Ooh, it's a good beach day. I always love it when it's a good beach day. Alrighty, um, we need to go by Hi Theo. I guess a new neighbor isn't a Raymond restaurant like I hoped. It's an oil drilling company. Oh, it's the, we gotta get into town, I think. We've been, we're due for a few cup cutscenes. Hey Zara. Pufferfish. They won't offer me a job about excavating something ancient. I didn't take the request from Slimy Corporation, so I just ghosted them. Good for you. Yeah, there's a cutscene for us to get in town. Inventory full! Not anymore. Okay. We have to go empty our pockets. <sighs> okay. Do I have one of those yet? I hope it will stack. Yes. You're not welcome here.
Hello, all. Such a Karen. <laughs> I love it. That's her name, Karen. <laughs> uh, passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town. Oh. Enough with the lies, Ms. Pufferfish. We all can see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Ms. Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. You tell her, Betty. Uh, we don't want any oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take all the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty. If I may, red shirt, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach. See where, where I'm going? Ugh, see where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Hoverfish can always help Coraline become a magnificent oil town, you see? Creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. And in no time, you will all see this town alive again. Picture this, of fish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier inside the fish and chips. Sips, fish and chips. Damn, you're gonna always keep calling it the fish and chips. Enjoying life. Red shirt. Look at the big picture here. Let's face it. Nobody cares anymore about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our, cor our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. No, and be by bail out, you mean drilling around the island? Ugh. Warfish investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Your door, our, excuse me, our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. Don't go far, I need to beat a bunch of you. No, stay here. I do like the color of her hair though. Lexi, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pupperfish Corporation. Lexi, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Mean lady. Now I need to go find, hi. I know we're supposed to oppose the pufferfish plan for this island, but if they offer to renovate both the observatory and dock, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do. No, 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 no. It's like the same townies I always need to meet. We can go meet her, I guess. So we still need to meet this entire family. Huh. There's someone up there. Okay, we need to go home first. And then we need to go shopping. Ah, fine. Oh, uh, we're gonna actually go here first and donate stuff to the museum. Everyone will now have a line about pufferfish. I am not going to donate the catfish uh, because that is an, a, uh, an altar. We're going to donate that. I always do the altar first, then 
um, oh, I already did it. I do the altar first and then I work on the museum. So it's an oil company, huh? I don't think tourists are going to book our inn again with oil drills around here. Where's your sister? I need to meet your sister. This is actually probably the longest it's been since I haven't met her sister in a game. Because normally everywhere you look, there's her sister. Or anywhere I travel, there's her sister just right there. This is, this is the weirdest thing. So to be fair, I am concentrating more on bugs. Oh, we already donated that. We already donated that. Sell, 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 sell in there. And then this will go in here. And this will go in here. I normally keep my chests over here. I'm going to keep in. I'm keeping there for easier transport. Because. Uh, transferring chests, it's not like sand rock where you can just replace them. Um, you have to like physically transfer stuff out of them, which I find annoying. Um, I guess we can go to the salon and go meet her. Oh, look at the dog. No, I need to buy stuff first. That is priority number one. Anyone in here I haven't met? No. I can't imagine what will happen to the ocean once they they went ahead with the oil drilling. We must stop them before it's too late. I haven't seen many pufferfish employees around. They like to keep to themselves. A shop. Some more of those. I'm not gonna buy a fertilizer yet. I know you should. Hmm. I think we have everything for the bundle. I think that's good enough. It's not good for Mama to get worked up like this, like the other day. What's today, sir? We'll go talk to Eva. I should check up on Betty. Gotta make sure she's all right. She was like so upset at the pufferfish meeting. I've never seen her so worked up like that. What do you have to say, sir? It's no use wasting our energy and being angry at Pufferfish Corp. It's better than to redirect that energy into something more productive. Yeah, but it's funner to be mad at them. That is a thing too. Um, we're gonna hit this. Go to the salon, which is right over here. Okay. Hello, butter. Is this butter? Yes. Adorable little kid. I always get the cats confused. This is who we're wanting to meet. Oh, the new neighbor. So, someone really was moving into town, huh? I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. I don't often go to the part of the island where your farm is. It was overgrown last time I visited, just a mess. How is it so far? Wonderful. Still overgrown, but you know. Listen up, from what I've heard, pufferfish, M.O., that's crime talk. For no one, for, nope. That's crime talk for one's particular technique. Anyway, the slowly pushed out of the people out of the town they move into. That was always the case. Or M.O. Modus operandi. It's weird seeing that, like, because normally you just see someone say that's their M.O. It just feels, it looks weird seeing it written out like that. Come on, ladybug. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go donate the ladybug to the museum and plant this stuff. And then maybe head up to the top part of the island and do some scavenging. Back 
for more. More potato seeds. Oh, I donated 10 items probably. Yep. I want the dinosaur there. Maybe we need to do this. Hi, Scott. Lexi, come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint blueprint for a bigger museum. The museum we have now is... It's sad. I actually like the museum. It works, but can you imagine something bigger, something more extravagant? Imagine this. What are we imagining? A nice fish tank room. We have one sec section dedicated to the aquatic creatures of the island. We have Jurassic Park. <laughs> then there's another section where we can look up at the fossils we've dug up. Oh, we can have a bigger and better section for the ancient relics. I like the pirate ship. Does that, doesn't that sound exciting? It does. Oh, that sounds really cool. That sounds really expensive. That sounds really cool, isn't it? There's one big problem though. The town just doesn't have the budget to build this museum, at least not yet. So what if we raise the money to build it? By that, I mean, I'm gonna start a Kickstarter campaign. Huh? Do you know what a Kickstarter is? I know what a Kickstarter is. Um, I know what it is. I just don't know if you should run one. I don't know. Can you explain? Sure. Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform. We put our projects online, then people can help fund it. In return, we'll give them something from the project as a token of our appreciation. Great idea, right? Anyway. I'm almost ready to launch this campaign, but there's a few things I need help with. My help, I'm assuming. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that already have something significant to show. Something to reassure the backers that they're backing a legit project. If I show an empty, the empty museum in the campaign, people are going to think this project is a scam or something. Now, my dear hardworking Lexi, this is where you come in. We're really happy with what you've brought them to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's just not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of our museum yesterday and it looked empty. No one's gonna help us if all we show them is an empty museum. But if you were to donate more items, do you see where I'm going with this? That's right, the museum won't look, at, look so empty and we can convince more people to help us fund our project. Now, while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm going to prepare other materials to upload to the campaign page. I'll scan this blueprint, then I'll ask Millie to write something awesome for the campaign. Oh, maybe I could get Lily to make us a website. Look at this, it's all come together. Now go forth, Lexi, collect more items so we can launch our Kickstarter campaign. I will do that for you, Scott. Okay. 50 items. Okay. We're going back to the farm. <laughs> uh, I find there's certain, like, in Sandrock, I have a hard time focusing on, like, like you give me a job to do, I have to do it immediately. Same problem in this game. Is it a problem or is it a me problem? I don't know. I need my uh, pickaxe. It's like immediately once I'm given something to do, I just I have to do it. I wish that was not a thing. Okay, so. Um, well, 
do peony, peony, carrot, peony. I again had to do a weird number. Oh. I'm going to save the potato seed for another day. I don't like having things in not equal numbers like this. I just, I don't. Um, there is a thing, hold on, that if you forget what you've planted, is it this? Yeah, if you right click on an item with an empty hand, uh, you can see what you've planted and how many days it takes. Because I do forget what I've planted sometimes. So anyways, that's something to keep in mind you can do. Um, We're going to clear our pockets and go see if we can find other people to meet. We don't need a pickaxe. We don't need a watering can. Um... We'll keep that on us and that on us. Okay. Let's go look at the map and see where people are. We still need to meet. There's someone there. We'll go here, I think. Oh, we still haven't met him. Okay, we're going to go this way. Whoops. Does This game does weird things when you select a different inventory spot when you're like in the middle of running or something. It's strange. Gotcha. Like I've noticed that like, I think it's only tools though. And there's really no rhyme or reason as to when it does it. Oh, Swallowtail. We have one of those that is from my house. It always brings me such happiness when you see him in the summer. Like I just, I like when you see the swallowtails. Oh, I mean, I haven't met you. Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. Nothing to worry about, it seems. Mean. Very mean lady. That's part of the vineyard family. I think she's the most likable out of the vineyard family, other than the son. The son you just feel bad for. Um, because I mean the father's kind of a jerk. At least I find him to be a jerk. Come here. I think this is a wasp. Gotcha. Oh, I have points to take. Shoot. How many people we have left while I'm here? One, two, so nine people. Okay. Mastery. So we got a 15% increase of speed, 10% chance for a better quality, or five chance of double speed. Oh, the difference already. Is he even here? Yes. Oh, he's right there. Well, 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 it is the new owner of the lot. Or should I say the farm? Jerk. Well, what do you have to say about pufferfish? Sure, the farm. Apologies, I have introduced myself. My name is Walter. I have nothing to say about pufferfish. I see. I see. Hey, Valentina. Oh, no, the building empty in front of my uncle's house is all cleaned up or is all clean now. I can't play there with my friends anymore. Hey Archie, I don't get a runny nose in the spring, but my stomach does hurt a little when I drink too much milk. Well, you're probably lactose intolerant then. As a fellow lactose intolerant person, I feel ya. Even though I am lactose intolerant, does that stop me from eating ice cream? No, but the pain is worth it. It really isn't, but it kind of is. 
I actually, because I had um, surgery on my colon a while ago. And that actually helped a lot. There she is. There's the twin. That's her daughter there. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you again. It's nice to have more farmers here. Being able to get local produce will be a game changer. You have nothing to say also about... Yeah. That's her, uh, Valentina is her daughter. We haven't met her ex-husband yet though. Um, actually, I, I don't even think I've seen him at all. I know there's a few people who don't come to the island for a little while. Donate more stuff. I'm going to check all this stuff off my list when I'm done filming. Tiger Swallowtail is nothing. It is a pipe vine swallowtail. The wasp is donatable. We need to keep this guy for um, the altars. Right? Yes. Oh, we're doing good. I just say. I, this is definitely a game of RNG. That it is a thing. I have had saves. Well, okay, I've technically had three saves. One of them I start, I trashed it. Because I had no clue what I was doing. I was trying to play the game without the wiki. That's what I was doing. And I failed miserably. I sold everything you weren't supposed to sell. I did all the no things. And it just, it, it had to go because there was no future there. Um, and then I started the next save. And that one I did better on. But that one, I, I just, I never can get anything. You feel like you're getting nothing accomplished. And that's why I quit playing it because I was having trouble finishing the museum. I was having trouble with the altars. I was having problems making money. And so I abandoned that one and I started my technically third save. And man, in that save, I have the best RNG. Like the best RNG that is existing. Um... Like, I didn't think it was possible to have as good of RNG as I have in that game or in that save. It's like everything you want, it just is magic and it just happens and it's amazing. This save is kind of, I, I didn't, I scared the buggy. This save is almost, it's getting there. I just don't know if it's, it's RNG as much as it's just learning the game. Oh. I'm going to blame RNG because we, oh, we can catch you. A Scarite Beetle. Yeah, the bug collecting I can pretty much do all day. Oh, I was going to go fishing today, wasn't I? Oh, well, we'll do that next episode. I do find it easier to focus on one thing and work hard at that. And from what I've seen, I haven't seen like, spoiler if you haven't played Stardew Valley, which at this point, sorry, not sorry, cause it's been out for a while, but like how he's got the two year limit on it. Oh, that's a centipede, I think. Um. I haven't seen anything so far that this game has like a time limit like that. It's like, so it kind of feels like it doesn't have the time limit. Um, at least that's what I've seen so far. We need to start heading back. Eh, we got a little bit of time. Ooh, black phantom ghost fish. I'm going to talk to you today. Can I talk to you more? Spring, finally. I've been itching to spend some nice, some Nice days outdoor. The only thing that comes out at night. I think, yeah, this guy I don't even bother with until I get the catching cages. 
That was like the tarantula or like the widow spider. I some some ones I don't I don't even bother with until I have the net or the the catching cages. Cause I do actually rely on those quite a bit. Probably more than I should. But you know, if it's in the game, it ain't cheating. Oop, there's a thing here. We need to start heading back for real. Okay, we're going back. Once it hits midnight, we turn into a pumpkin. That's basically how this game is. I do wish you could stay out a little bit later. Um, we're not gonna donate anything, I don't think. Hmm, we could, I mean, we're right here, but it's fine. Not today, I don't think. Or not tonight, I guess it would be. We are gonna clear out our pockets though. Uh, you can, you need to be, nope. You need to be donated. You need to be donated. You can be sold. Okay. Uh, some of these flowers, we are reaching a point. You are... Um, oh, so who was it that we could sell? Sell and sell. Okay. Okay. I forgot what I was saying, but it's fine. We're going to bed to see how much money we made. Ooh, 427. Kind of thought it would have been more, but these are kind of like low level insects and stuff. But anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of my time. Nope, this is not my time at Sandra. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, Coral Island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could edit that out, but I'm going to leave it in. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode of Coral Island. Uh, next episode, we will probably get some more cutscenes, I would think. And then we still have to meet nine people. I know who they are. It's just I need to find them. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now.